The Native Americans have certain sections of land that they consider sacred. It is holy ground. They don't work the land of it. They don't hunt the animals on it. They don't fish it. They leave it be. Oftentimes it is a burial mound. Another time it is a, a holy place, like a church. When the settlers came in the 1800s and taking the land, the Native Americans told them that they were welcome to it, except leave these certain areas alone. They were sacred, holy to them. This is the story of eight of those settlers that didn't listen, that tread upon that land. Thomas Arden, John Percy, Wesley Peters, Edward Martin, Sarah Darby, Lenore Swanson, Mary Elizabeth, and Delilah White. They came across that land and desecrated the graves and destroyed the markers and sacred items left there. Something happened to them that night they crossed the land ignoring the Native Americans' warnings. Not all of them survived to tell it. The ones that did spent the rest of their life working as some of the first conservationists, telling others to heed what the Native Americans had to say, that that land was sacred. I'll give the cards to you and have you mix them up just as well as you can mix them and then to place them in any order that you would like. Because there is something about their names even today. Even though the people that were there that night were taken and those that survived are long gone. The curse still haunts with them today. Because even now you could take their names and you could place, place them in any order that you would like. And you would see that you would separate the survivors every single time with those that met their fate that night. The living and dead separated and marked for all time. All because they didn't heed a warning.